Hey, this is Bree here from the Treehouse with my son, Christian. And so today we're going to talk about what happened when we went to go see the dinosaurs down at the museum and the um, IMAX uh, film about dinosaurs. So we decided to use your car. And what happened when I got in your car? When you got in my car? Uh huh, yeah. Do you remember what happened? The tires were getting low. Yeah, and how did how did I know that? Because you looked at at whatever that was flashlight. Right, there's an indicator, right? I think some people call them um, like dummy lights, and just have you ever seen the books like um, Computers for Dummies? Mm -hmm. There, it's a set of books. Now, it doesn't mean that you're dumb, right? It just means that you don't really know anything about computers or that. And so dummy lights are kind of, I think that's what they call them, some people do. They're, they're warning lights, basically, okay? And they warn you that something is possibly wrong with your car. And your car has a special light, right, to let you know what? What does it let you know? If the battery is dying. It has that one, but what, what one does it have in reference to what happened the other day? That could have had a flat tire on the road. Right, that you possibly had a tire that was getting low on air, right? Mm -hmm. And so I asked you if you had seen that light, and, and you said, what did you say to me? No. Well, no, I think you did say no first, but then did you say that you had seen it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, you, and, and what did you say? It's okay, just talk, we're just talking. What did you say to me? I don't know what that is. You don't know what the light was? Mm -hmm. Well, no. Okay, so, so that's what that is. That's an indicator light to let you know again that there's something wrong with your tires. So, hmm. Maybe what we can do is we can, here's a thought for, or that might be helpful to the parents is take a picture of that warning light and then edit the picture. Have your, your son or daughter, if they're driving, keep that on their phone and put a label next to that warning light for them what that is. So that way, if that light comes on, they can go look at their phone and look, oh, that's what that means. Do you think that would help you? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I had another thought. So so anyhow, so I had to use the, I have a, a little portable um, inflator for the car to check the tire pressure. And the one thing I thought of, you know, is how is my son going to know how much air to put in the tire. You know, and a lot of people don't know this. So I, I look inside the door and it tells me what the tire pressure should be for that specific tire, okay? And then I inflate it, you know, see if it's inflated. And sure enough, I think it was 33 pounds that it was supposed to be a pressure. You know on the tire when you fill it up, you see the numbers, right? Okay, so I think it's 33. So what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna take your inflator, because I, I bought him one of his own to keep in his car, and we're gonna put a label on it with the air pressure that you need for your tires on it. And so you'll always know, this is what I need for the tires for my car, okay? And if you get another car, we'll just change it and we'll put a new label on there so that you know how what the air pressure should be on those tires, right? If it's low, what does that mean? That it could be, right? There could be a problem. Sometimes in the winter time, that can happen because the cold can deflate your tire some. So, but yeah, they're, they're building and so what happened? So, so let's share this experience a little bit here. So where did you go to check that out? Discount Tire. Right, you went to Discount Tire. And so what happened because um, Christian went there by himself. This was a, a life learning experience and so what happened? So you gave me a call. What what was going on? The, the price was high. The price was high. It, yeah, you said it was nine dollars and seventy eight cents. Nine hundred twenty eight dollars. Nine hundred twenty eight dollars. Okay. Well, when you first called, though, you thought it was like nine dollars and seventy eight cents. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know what he was talking. About. Right. Yes, you didn't know what he was talking about. And so the really good thing that you did was you communicated. You communicated, you called me and say, hey mom, I, got, I have a problem. And so here are some good safety measures for parents if you have a young adult 
who's driving and they have a debit card or a credit card is to put a limit on that card. And also, so I have it set up that, first of all, he has a debit card. And I think that's safer because once that money's gone, he can't access any more money. And so I keep a limited amount of money in that account, um, right, we do, so that you can pay for your gas. And if you have, you know, like a, a, a emergency, that there's some money in there. But it has a limit so that he can't go over that limit on a daily basis because, let's say somebody stole your card, right? Or like in this situation, you really didn't know what was going on. And um, so the, the, the salesman, right? They're good. Salesmen are good at selling things. What did they try to sell you? Some of the new tire. Right, they were selling you four of the expensive tires, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So, so, and you didn't need four tires. All you went in there was to check for a flat. Now, he ended up getting four tires, I'll say this, but yeah. <laughs> but we didn't get the most expensive ones in, and the good part was that you communicated, okay? So if you ever have a problem, right, um, what what could be something else that you could do let's say if somebody's trying to sell you something and you're not sure about what to do what could you do what what could be something else you could do ask them what is this <coughs> excuse me <coughs> <coughs> sorry yes you could ask what is this but <coughs> let's say if you're unsure whether or not you should buy it should you go ahead and pay for it no. Okay, or what else could you do? What? Do you have to, just because somebody offers to sell you something, do you have to buy it? No. No, you don't have to, that's right. And so you made a really good choice. Instead of saying, okay, sure, go ahead. Well, you, you kind of did. So in, in the next time in the, in the, is to say, hold off for a minute. Let me, let me check this out. Let me, um, you know, look up because often here's what I do is so let's say that it turns out and you did need four tires because of the one they're building across the street and of course get down to the nail was on the side of the tire <laughs> I don't know how you know if it's on the side of the tire but anyhow and so that means he needed two tires because it's always better to get two tires with the same tread and then to get uneven treads it causes you problems and the front two tires were about worn out, so I was okay with those being repaired. But if you're not sure about something, just say, hold on a minute, let, let me just check some things out. Or you can even say, hey, you know what, I, I think I'm gonna check, look into this a little bit, and um, if I decide to get some tires, I'll come back, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here's my thoughts, and you tell me what you think. The next time you have to go for something like this is to write down your questions because you, did you get a little bit overwhelmed feeling you didn't know quite what to do when you got there? Mm -hmm. Right, so I would say, um, parents, is, is one good thing that we do is we do a lot of role playing, like, right? Like when you went to interview for a job, right? Who did I, I pretended I was who? The, the store manager. I was the store manager and you were applying for the job, right? And so we do a lot of role playing and so practice, right? Practice at anything help, helps you. So, and, and in this case, we could do that, but also uh, you could simply write down the questions that you have to ask at the store. And then ask them, you can also ask them, could you write this information down for me? Or could you print out how much those tires would cost? Could you print out what you're saying I need, okay? And bring it back home, right? Or let's say that you're on your own, you can go on the internet and you can compare to shop. You can look to see because you know you can get tires at Sam's too. We have a Sam's membership and often you can get tires there or Walmart, mm -hmm. different places that you can get tires. And so you wanna compare the prices, okay? Cause that's more of an expensive purchase, mm -hmm. right? Meaning, right, cause it wasn't $9.78 or $9.28, it was almost $1,000, okay? Mm -hmm. So, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a big difference in price. So anyhow. So again, though, you did a really good thing in that when you ran into a problem, what did you do? Called you. Right, you called, right. And if you couldn't have gotten me, you could have called somebody else. Or what, what would you have done if you couldn't have gotten me? 
and phone. What do you, what would you have done? I would have asked him who I was talking about. Okay, and, and let's say he said, well, sir, you need these tires. What would you do then? What, what will you do the next time if somebody says that? Okay, well, what do we just, what do we talk about? Okay, so what are you gonna do the next time? Okay, let's say, let's play the scenario out. And this is what we do, okay? All right, so I get in your car, or you, you're getting in your car and you see that warning light on, right? Mm -hmm. Look it up on your phone, right? Because we're gonna take a picture of it and we're gonna put a label next to it and it says, uh, air and tire may be low, right? Okay, so you need to put air in the tire, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then after that, when you put air in, then you have to go and have a check to see if you have a nail or something in the tire, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, and we'll put all the, in the little notes what you're supposed to do, okay? Okay, so you get to discount tire and they say, well, sir, you need a new tire. First of all, you're gonna ask them to show you, show me where the leak is on there because you know, they're, they're selling things, okay? That's mm -hmm. kind of their job. So if they show you if the leak, if it's in the tire, it should be repairable if, it, if it's along the tread. Do you know what I mean by the tread? Mm -hmm. That's that round part where the car drives on. There's the side of the tires, mm -hmm. and then there's the side that has those grooves, right? The lines, the actual what the roads, what goes around and touches the pavement, okay? That's called the tread, okay? Okay. So a leak in... We can make a picture of a tire too and show you so you know the different parts so you know what they're talking about. Would that help? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can do that, okay? So they say there's a nail, they can fix it, great, okay? And you have a warranty on your tire. Do you know what that means? Mm -hmm. Okay, so a warranty means that if something happens to your tire, you take it in and they're supposed to replace it, okay? It shouldn't cost you any money to replace it, okay? or they should be able to fix it or they replace it. Now, sometimes they charge you some according to how much you've driven on that tire, okay? okay. All right, but yeah, the warranty, so you have to take it back to discount tire. You have the receipt in your glove compartment and another good point for parents is to take a picture of that receipt. Have your child keep that photo on their phone and you can make files for them. Like, I think he has a file, do you have a file called car? I think so. Yeah, it's called car, and so under there is the receipt for his tires, and so he can just pull that up and show that to discount tire. Nowadays, so many, um, in, you know, young people, and my son is very good at using his phone, and so if that's a good tool for your child or young adult, have them use that to help them remember information, and so you know when they're in a situation like this, they can pull up that information easily. Okay, so you're gonna go there, and let's say they say, well, you need, you know, a new tire. And you might need one, you may not be able to leave there because it might be bad, but you can at least sit and you can say, okay, well, what are the different tires you have? Because there are different tires at different prices. They're gonna try to sell you probably the most expensive one, okay? But you have to find out, so what is the drive out price? What does that price cost to drive out with that tire because there's what there's a price of the tire right what else are they charging you for do you think right they're charging for the tire what does that include when you buy something at the store what else do you have to pay for you have to pay pay the taxes the taxes that's right you have to pay taxes and then do you think they put it on your car for free? No. No, they charge you for that. And they also charge you to have a warranty so that if something happens with that tire, you don't have to pay again for another tire, okay? So there are four different fees in, involved there. So you have to know, well, okay, it's great that you're saying, because like last time I think they said, oh, we have this tire, it's $88. And by the time they got done, it was like $150, okay? <laughs> like double, that's almost double the price. So you want to know, what is the total price out the door? That's what you ask them. What's the price out the door, okay? And again, we can put that all in your notes. So parents, you know, in, if you're a young adult and you're trying to learn to be um, 
you know, it's successful when you go out there and try to make a purchase such as this, because this is a large purchase. It's good with anybody, you know, if you have special needs or not, because I know me, when I get there, I'm like, oh, what was it that I needed to remember? Just as like if I go to the doctors or something, I'm trying to remember everything. But so with a major purchase, as this one is, write down your questions before. Write down what your budget is. Don't go over that budget. You know what you know what a budget is, right? Yeah. What's a budget? Like don't spend too much. Right. You have if you if you say, Okay, I can only afford to spend five hundred dollars, mm -hmm. then can you spend six hundred dollars? No, you can't, right? Yeah. So all right, so do you have any other questions? No. No? All right, so so share with our viewers, what, what are you going to do next time you go if you see that tire warning light on? Uh, go to discount tire. Okay. You're going to go to discount tire and you're going to do what? I'm going to check the wheels, the, the tire. To check well. that tire, okay? I think that's kind of what was a problem last time was they were checking all the tires. So you want to tell them, so you're going to tell them, let's say that your front left tire is having a problem. Are you going to say, can you check all my tires? No. What are you going to say? Check front left tire, and please. And tell them, and what are you going to tell them about it? That, that it seems like it's getting low. Low on you, right. Very good, yeah. And have them check that and go from there. And if they say, well, you need a new tire, what are you going to say? Well, you're gonna ask them, why Why do I need that new tire, right? Mm -hmm. First, okay? And we'll write these questions down, okay? Before you go, those are good things to write down. You know, you're gonna ask them, well, why do I need the new tire? And if they say, well, there's a nail in it, we'll say, why well, have the warranty, you're supposed to replace that. If they say, well, it's on the side, then you are gonna need a new tire, okay? So, uh, but you don't have to buy necessarily the one that they say, right? Mm -hmm. You can ask them, well, let me see what other tires do you have that size? What what other prices do you have, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're still not sure, what can you do then? Uh, phone a friend, right? Phone a friend. Phone a friend, phone your mom, right? Mm -hmm. Ask them for their advice. What do they think you should do, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And by all means, stay within your budget, okay? Okay. All right. So, anyhow, I hope this is helpful. I know this is, is a little bit of a, a lengthy video, but it is important to help set your young adult up for success. And so you can run through these scenarios with them. You can take pictures um, like we're going to do on his actual inflator. We're going to put a label on there with the pounds pressure that his tire needs. So that way he will know exactly how much pressure he needs on that car, on the tires and so that if he checks them, if he needs to add air. And then also on his phone, take a picture. Oh, we're gonna take a picture. The warning light, right? Mm -hmm. And say the different steps we're gonna put in there, what you need to do with if that warning light comes on, okay? okay. All right? So, yeah. Um, the most important thing is to check, check the tire, right? If it's mm -hmm. low on air, put some air in it, and then go to discount tire and have them check it out, right? Anyhow, I hope this video was helpful, and if you liked, please like and subscribe, and have a wonderful weekend. Tell everybody to have a wonderful weekend, too. Have a wonderful weekend. Okay. Alrighty. Bye.